People often ask me, what does a typical farm look like in New Zealand? Because farming in some communities means high density, close proximity farming, you know, a high concentration of animals and so on. In New Zealand, all our farming is open pastoral farming. We have a, uh, a smallish country, but a lot of open spaces, very few people, and we have lots of beautiful mountainous areas, which are the natural habitat for deer in any case. So these animals are raised outdoors 365 days a year. They don't mind the cold. They have a winter coat, which has almost got a hollow fibre in it, and it keeps them very, very warm. They shed that as the summer comes, and they get their nice new red summer coat. And as the autumn comes along or the fall comes along, they start to grow their winter coat again. So they're well set up and well, very versatile and well suited to a, a four seasonal um, climate. In fact, they quite like the cold. I am a venison farmer and have been for the last 22 years. And mine is only a small farm, but um, I've soon learned all about deer farming. And um, it is a a beautiful animal to farm, I have to say. I've been involved in farming and lived in a farming community all my life. And um, once I got started working with deer, I soon learned that they were just their, their attributes. They're a wonderful animal. They're very, very easy on their environment. You have to be careful when you're handling them in so much as that you don't want to get them stirred up. They're an not an animal that likes to be stressed. They're a natural free browsing animal. Um, they don't like to be chased by dogs or herded up too much. You've really got to lead them rather than push them. One thing we do on our farms is to ensure that the animals have got plenty of food in front of them. Um, they're not pressured into small pastures. They've got plenty of room to move and move amongst themselves. They are a herd animal and they stay together in familial groups. They are outdoors ranging around on, on free open paddocks. We have a fence around them, of course, otherwise they'd take off into the mountains. But when I'm talking about open gra grass farming, we, we grow special grasses for them. We make sure that the sward, that is the grasses in the paddock, are a good mixture of certain kinds of grasses, clovers, rye grasses, um, winter grazing brome, red clover, white clovers, perennial annular rye grasses, chicory, clover, plantains, all sorts of things. We even grow alfalfa. We call it lucerne. It's highly nutritious, grows very well in drier areas. In fact, I grow some on my farm and the deer do extremely well on that. So we make sure there is plenty of natural grass paddocks for them to, to graze on or to, you know, to browse on. Now, we can also feed them supplementary feeds in the winter months, because it does get cold. We're just getting a, a little bit of snow at the moment and it's late, late winter, early, early sort of spring really. And so if we get very cold weather for sustained periods, we do make hay, we make baleage, which is baled silage, we make silage, and also you can feed them supplementary crops like root crops, rutabaga and things like that, which we do grow in the cooler areas to make sure they've got another food source in those cooler months. They are a very intelligent animal and um, if they get to know you, as they do when you're farming with them, you can lead them around the farm, open gates and they just go into the paddock, you don't have to chase them in. They know there's an, a new fresh paddock of grass or a field of grass coming their way and they'll be through the gate quicker than you can imagine.